Good afternoon, everybody. We are here at the TTC, or almost to the TTC. We have come to the Magic Kingdom today because we want to check in on the spring break crowds. I saw Genie Plus sold out today for the multi park. Like, I think all of the parks were sold out. I know over at Universal, their Express Pass was going for $300 insanity so we're coming here to show you what spring break crowds look like right now hopefully give you some good insight and just take you guys along with us in a fun friday evening here at magic kingdom we are heading over to security right now and i see a lot of people leaving but i see a lot of people showing up our parking actually wasn't horrible but we do have to kind of navigate our way around but it does feel pretty busy for about that five o'clock time frame right now We'll take a look at the prices as we are heading in. One day ticket, $184 for the Magic Kingdom here. $179 for Epcot and Hollywood Studios and $164 for Animal Kingdom. We are taking the monorail today per Nicole's request. I still think I'm a ferry boat fan. I wonder if we'll get on this one. It actually looks kind of empty. We just made it in time. The group behind us got cut off. Oh, he's letting them on. All right, they made it. I was gonna say, there's like nobody left here. We have made it. We had a little bit of a slow up over at the Contemporary, and I did hear that the monorails were down. They just came back up as we were coming into the TTC. So maybe there's just kind of a slow up there. Either way, we're gonna head in. I'll try and show you a lot of crowds today as we're hanging out and just having a good time here. But right now, Space is down and Seven Dwarves is down. I can hear Vamos right now happening. I don't see anybody over there, but I think it's coming to an end. So as we are coming into the Magic Kingdom, I noticed that there was this little, oh, I just swiped it away. But it was saying that Seven Dwarves is down and that they're trying to get it back up, which is crazy because I've never had a notification in the app. And that's kind of bizarre. My only assumption is because it's so busy that people might get like really upset. So they're like letting people know, like we know it's down, it should be coming back up. Don't lose it on us. Oh, it's the very end of Vamos right now. Dang, we just missed it. <laughs> Do you feel like the CEO and just everybody in like upper management is just like seeing dollar signs when it's like this time of oh, the year? Oh, absolutely. They have to love this. It's just gotta be like cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Like, money, money, I know, money, money. Money. Every person may see it's Scrooge it. McDuck like green dollar bill in their eyes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go check, see if there are some Easter treats happening on Main Street here. Let's see, what do we see here? These look like giant jawbreakers, don't they? They do. Like the coloring of them? And these are, are these new? Freeze-dried Skittles. Oh yeah, I remember that. I don't that. think I would go on a Rice Krispie. Like I think like I'd want those by themselves, and then like the Rice Krispies somewhere. Yeah, I guess I could probably see that. What's this? Oh, I don't know, but colored. I was reading that you should never buy one of these pre-bagged treats. Like, always go for this, because these are made fresh at the park, where these are shipped in. Oh. So, like, they're both Rice Krispie treats. Get the fresh one. They had a new popcorn mix, I think, for springtime. Which one? Ah, uh, spring popcorn, yep. Oh, it's vanilla wafers. So, oh yeah, it's got vanilla wafers. It looks like it's a caramel corn, and then like pastel M&Ms there. It looks kind of good. I don't feel like they used to have like this display before. Oh, there's a Dapper Dan's one too. Look at the color of the popcorn, oh my gosh. Not a whole lot new here. We actually did cover a lot of these like springtime snacks, I don't know, a few weeks ago now and they are all pretty much the same at this point, so we're just gonna kinda continue on. I know some of the resorts have some stuff, but right now I think we're gonna go brave the crowds, show you kinda what's happening out here, and uh, let me tell you something that I saw this morning. This morning, I was looking at lines, and it still looks pretty much the same. Three rides over two, no, four rides over two hours at Hollywood Studios. I will insert the screenshot that I took this morning or this afternoon, insanity. By the way, four rides at studios being two hours or more, that's crazy. Even all of the seating here is all taken up. I feel like you almost never see all of these seats taken. And there's just like a lot of people existing. You know, it's not like shoulder to shoulder right now because I feel like this isn't really that big of a hangout spot, but holy cow. So I think we're gonna head over to Space Mountain. It's currently closed and this is one of the biggest tricks that you could do is if you actually head over to one of the rides that's closed down, you actually just go wait outside of the queue and then as soon as it opens, a lot of times the inside queue starts to like dissipate and people kind of leave 
and then you can sometimes get lucky and get like a 30 minutes or less wait, especially if the ride's been closed down for a long time and they start to like kick people out of the queue. So I think we're gonna try that. But first, we're gonna grab a snack here because we are getting a little hungry. It's getting close to that dinner time, even though we have changed the clocks, which means we have good sun. But I think we're gonna go either do Casey's or a hamburger spring roll. I don't know, we're gonna head this direction though. We went ahead and did mobile order. I still highly recommend that you guys do that if you guys are in the park, especially during busy season because the mobile order pickup window is right now. And I feel like you're gonna wait in a longer line if you go in. Maybe not, it actually doesn't look too busy right now, but I feel like it's always just the easiest way to do it. So we're gonna head in, got our corn dog nuggets, and we did cheese sauce today. That was incredibly fast. I clicked I'm here and probably less than a minute later, we ended up getting our food. So very, very quick. It wasn't too, too busy in there to be honest, but again, I still think this was gonna be quicker than ordering inside. Nicole is adding her card because she got a new phone. What is this, the iPhone 14? 15. 15? 15, not the Pro, just the regular because I wanted the pink one. Isn't it pretty? There, it is so pretty. Uh, also, make sure you guys wash your hands. I just wash my hands, especially when it's busy. A lot of people touching things. You don't want to get sick when you leave Disney World. Either way, we're going to dig into these, head over to Space Mountain, and hopefully our plan works. We are heading over to space, like I said, now. How did you enjoy those nuggets? It's been a while. I feel like we scarfed those things down. Either we, we were hungry or they were good. Or I feel like I've been asking for corn dog nuggets for like weeks now. So they it's were true. very good. We we literally have been like, do we just like go over to Magic Kingdom and pick up like the corn dog nuggets and leave? And we're like, oh, it's kind of a pain to get in. We're like, no, but we've contemplated it a number of times. And we finally did it today. Either way, let's go check in and see. Space has been down for a while. So I'm hoping it comes up soon. Otherwise, we might waste our time, but I mean, everything's basically like an hour or hour and a half plus. So if we wait less than that, I guess it works out. Look at the uh, booths and tables here, all taken up. Astro Orbiter line, very, very long. Like I said, we are making our way over to space, hoping that that opens up here soon, because the second it opens, you only get about, I don't know, five, maybe 10 minutes tops before the lines just get flooded, because people will start running over there. But we are heading that way. It looks like it's still closed at the moment, though. Wow, look at the people mover line over here. Granted, that typically moves pretty quick, but that's crazy. I haven't seen the switchbacks being this utilized in a while. There typically is switchbacks that they do use, and like you'll still have to stand in them, but not the fact that it's like, I don't know, eight to 10 rows deep, and you could see somebody's holding a sign that says the line starts there. Wow, they have a lot of employees out here holding the line, which makes me think it's going to be quite a while before this reopens. But you can see, I mean, this is like staff, staff. We have two, five, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. At least 15 employees are over here right now, shooing people away. Now, while we wait, I do want to check the Joffrey's menu. It looks like everything is pretty standard, except they have this frozen mission to s'mores. Also, Team Blue Lemonade. That looks kind of good. I haven't seen those before. Also, they have blue donuts. I feel like I've only ever seen the pink donuts. You know, I've never noticed that they have face painting over here. What it's bathroom? like, yeah, there's bathrooms right here and face painting right next to it. I've never, have you ever seen this before? Never, I never knew there was a bathroom back here. I mean, <laughs> oh my face gosh. painting I don't typically like keep my eyes aware for, but, yeah, like, but like bathrooms I do. That's so weird. It looks like it's next to like a phone booth or something. All right, well, like I said, all the employees are over there. We're going to pop a squat for a minute and just wait. I guess we'll wait maybe 20-ish minutes or so to see if it pops back up, but it has been down for a while, so we might not luck out here. All right, a number of the cast members have been and moving back to the line. I feel like you can start to see it moving, which I feel like might be a good sign. There's only a few more left up here. Did we luck out? All right, a lot of them are going back in. They have a few here. I think we are getting ready. Maybe not like right away, right away, but I bet you we're within probably five to 10 minutes tops. I feel like with the amount of money that Disney makes, I feel like they could keep the rides up and operational. You know, they don't need to always open up all these things. I personally want them to open up a new park, open up new lands, whatever. But space, almost every single time I look in the app, I would say about 70% of the time, space is down and at least one or two other rides is down, especially Magic Kingdom being one of the older parks here. 
I just feel like they need to do something about keeping the consistency of the rides going because it is always down and for like lengths of time i don't know what goes on here but like shut it down for like a month or something refurb it up and like get it working properly because it just doesn't a lot of rides are like that i don't know what's going on at this all right the wait time show is 85 minutes it looks like they are opening up and we are able to get in sweet so it panned out but we are part of like the first like 10 people walking in which is going to be nice so we should have a pretty short wait here this is how you beat the system you find the rides that are closed down we did it until it closes down again when we're in there. <laughs> I don't know, I can see Lightning Lane getting super backed up right now. But like I said, we have about a 10 minute window or less before this really opens up and people start to notice. Again, it was posted 85 as we were walking in, but we are going to go into the main room. This is so nice, how exciting. All right, let's see how many people are in here. Oh my gosh, so empty. Let's go. They don't even have the first trains loaded up yet. This is going to be amazing. I bet you we could probably almost get back in. And we got one and two. Let's go. So look at this. We ended up basically just walking on to one and two. Not basically, we did. We walked on one and two. And now it is posted 65. When we walked out the doors over here to the left, it was 45. As we came back over, 65. And now the line is outside. We lucked out. We got it. it. We did. We waited. And like I said, if you want to wait, what do we wait? 20 minutes, maybe? Maybe if even. No, I feel like I feel like start to finish about 20, maybe 15 to 20. Okay, I would say 15. But I mean, think about it. Versus 65 plus easily, because this is going to get up to like two hours now that it's reopened. Now we're going to navigate around the park for just a minute but I do want to ask you guys a question if you have done the Disney Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean because I have done a lot of Royal Caribbean Nicole just went on her first cruise with me for Royal Caribbean so now we want to try Disney Cruise Line I've done cruising for a long time but I've never done it and what are kind of the pros and cons of each in your opinion please let me know in the comments below I'm looking to book a DCL cruise here soon but I don't know, I feel like a lot of the boats are very old. I feel like they're all like 98, 99, early 2000s, where like I know the Wish I think is 2022, that's like their only recent boat. I know obviously they have Treasure coming out, but what do you guys feel as far as like the experience between DCL and Royal Caribbean? What do you guys feel like are the pros, cons? And just like let us know your overall thoughts or things maybe we should know ahead of time. Either way, we're heading around the corner. Also, if you haven't seen those videos, we have released them on the channel. Make sure to check out our Royal Caribbean Cruising. We did the Allure of the Seas, a lot of fun, and we actually have a few more videos coming out for them. Some really cool stuff coming in the future. Either way, coming over here, I wanna see if there's any more treats unique to the holidays. I don't think so, but we're gonna check anyway. So this is where I was coming over here to Cheshire, and I can already see it doesn't look like anything new. I feel like we've seen that stuff there before. We'll kind of peel around the corner here, see if anything over at like the Friars Nook and that. So coming over here, I do actually see it is down. Nobody is in line. So maybe we'll try and do the same thing and luck out twice in a row. I don't know, we got the notification for this one. We didn't get it for space, which makes me think this is in like some serious issues right now. I feel like space was able to come back up. Either way, we'll float in the area for a little bit. I think actually this is new right now, that Rapunzel Sunday. I think that just released recently, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Looks kind of interesting. So it's a shortcake with Dole Whip, lemon, and wild berry soft serve, topped with berry compote and sugar flowers. You guys can see that there. It looks like the Friars Nook is closed. They might actually be done at like five or six. It is like 6.30 right now. So maybe that's what's going on here. But yeah, those are all shut down, but you can still see people are using all of the seating available today with the crowd levels. While we go ahead and wait to see if Seven Dwarves does come up, we are gonna go ahead and wait in this line here. It is a little long, but you know, it'll buy a little bit of time. We'll be able to try a new treat and then possibly hop right onto Seven Dwarves. Again, I, I don't know, I'm not crossing my fingers and hoping for anything on this one. I feel like, again, this one has a lot more issues, but we'll see. 
We have received our Rapunzel treat here. Unfortunately, Seven Dwarves is still down. A lot of cast members are out front, so I think we're just gonna grab a seat, eat this, let you know what we think. Another thing to kind of keep in mind when it is super busy is number one, when the fireworks are going, that is a great time to do rides. And number two, check the app and try and find like lines that are going down. So we saw Pirates was like 60 when we came in, then it was 45, I think it's at 15 right now. It's kind of on the other side of the park right now, so not really gonna run over there right away. But if you can start to see it trending down, you might be able to go there, because what it'll do is it'll start to go back up once it gets so low. But it's something to keep in mind, so like just checking in the app to see like what are low lines and then like making your way that direction. But you have to be careful because if it's low, people are gonna start flocking to it, especially when it's as busy as it is. So you kind of have to dig for the cake down there, but I actually really like that. What's your thoughts on it? I feel I, like it's like sweet. I don't think, ah, there's the cake. I'm like, I didn't get the cake yet, but the ice cream is nice. I think like the lemon's really refreshing. Where sometimes I feel like lemon and berry doesn't taste as sugary, it's just like chocolate and vanilla. So it's like refreshing, but like not too heavy. It, it just doesn't feel as unhealthy, even though it probably is just as unhealthy, but wow, this is actually really good. Definitely come try this. Again, that dessert was delicious. I actually highly recommend it. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was. There was a lot, lots of berries, lots of like compote, just like, I don't know, that was a super good dessert. One of the better things I feel like I've had, number one in Magic Kingdom, and number two, like at Disney World in a while. The Cinderella mice are doing meet and greets over here, and there's like no line for it, by the way. So for as busy as it is, this is always kind of like a very like low peak section over here where people just don't tend to come back here. Even Pinocchio Village House has a ton of people outside. That's crazy. I don't feel like that even happens during like summer sometimes. Not for like this late, it's already like 7.30. We are coming up here to Peter Pan. It says it is a 95 minute wait over there. And Small World utilizing some of the switchbacks upstairs as you can see inside. Not the longest that it could be because I feel like these could be a few more rows deep. So not too, too bad. Again, we are getting ready for the fireworks here in just about an hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, they are 8.30 tonight, which we are actually watching. It's been a while since we've seen Happily Ever After inside of the parks. I just saw one of the rafts coming down the hill. So they are testing. Oh, there it goes right now. Sweet. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to show you guys some of the testing going on over here at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. There is the sign. We are ride testing only opening this summer. But there you go, log flumes. And there's one coming down back there. We'll go get you a closer shot of that here in just a second. But they are officially testing. Things are moving. And I'm assuming they just wanna make sure everything moves through. There's still a lot of scaffolding going on on the side of the mountain, so I feel like, again, summer definitely makes sense. I am still thinking right around the 4th of July would be my guess, so that gives us about two to three more months at least. But I do think that'll be the case, especially with the testing right now. My guess is everything else is now going to be inside, not as much external. Obviously, some of the finishing touches outside, but I think there's a lot of things they wanna make sure work well. Of course, right as I was coming over here to try and get you a shot of it, I don't see any coming down, but I do see one rotating right around the water tower there, so I think we're gonna get one here in a second. Well, it looks like there is a jam or a backup up there. I do see a boat at the top, so I don't know, but you can see like this ledge right there. They are still passing by, but they're not coming down. So I don't know if they're doing like kind of emergency things or yeah, can you see it right there? It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see it just zipping right past the water tower there. So they were still sending them, but they're not coming down the mountain anymore. And of course, the second I walk away, they start it back up. All right, let's go see if we can see one coming down. Over here at Pirates, we see a 25 minute posted wait. Again, fireworks are in less than an hour, so I think there is probably some crowds building up over there, which we'll show you in just a minute, but while we have a little bit of a shorter line, we'll go ahead and do this. 
We don't wait in Pirate's Line too often. I feel like typically when we come on, it's like all the way up there. So I don't know if this is 25 or not. I feel like it moves pretty quick. Well, it looks like we are at 15 minutes and we are on the ramp to go down. So I think we should be just about another minute or so. We'll be in like two boats. So about 15 minutes, 10 minutes shorter than the posted. We have about 20 minutes until the fireworks as we are just getting off of Pirates now. So we're gonna go get a spot. We're not obviously gonna get a very good spot because it is super busy, but we'll get a spot nonetheless. It's been a while since I've gotten to see Happily Ever After inside of the park. We have seen it over at the Polynesian, but there's something about being inside of the park that it just makes it like a million times better. Take a look at the central hub right now. I think we're going to head towards Main Street. Uh, it's always a little less busy, at least the further in that you get as far as, I guess, like towards the front of the park. But it is so packed right now. I don't know how close we're going to be able to get. Obviously, we didn't stake out a spot, but we're just going to kind of navigate. Like I said, probably just head to Main Street at this point. We have found our spot for the show. We came back here to Main Street. It's actually quite busy. Typically, kind of up there by like the ice cream. Anywhere from there back, it's typically pretty like tame. It's still pretty packed already here. And even behind us, I'll show you. Going all the way back there, look at this. That is kind of a lot of people back there. But either way, we're gonna wait it out. What do you say, 15 minutes? 18, 13. 13. 13 minutes until the show. So we'll have a pretty good viewing here, and then we can let the crowds kind of do whatever they want to do, and then we'll either decide to go back in or leave, whatever we're doing. But either way, this is kind of a good neutral spot. Five, four, three, two, one. So we just witnessed the worst decision by, I don't, I don't know if it's, yeah, a stupid worst, I don't know. Disney decided where we are standing right now, there's like these like alcoves that you can like split off to go to different lands and they blocked all of them and they told everybody to go towards the castle if you wanted to stay in the park or go that way back down Main Street if you wanted to leave. Well, all of this was open where we're standing right now and they weren't letting people go through here. So you just had, both sets of like traffic just running into each other, it was just stopped. Just hundreds and thousands of people just stopped in lines, basically just like existing and no one could move. That was crazy. And then they finally opened it up and it started to kind of like loosen up. But I don't know why they did that. Yeah, literally it just like solved all of the problems. Why they did that, I have no idea. Because there was nobody traveling where we are right now. And everybody was just standing there and you couldn't move. I don't even know. That was 
absurd, by the way. So this is what I'm talking about, where like you kind of have the area where you can like go out on the grass. That's like private seating now. Over here we have like the seating, and then up here you can see like people getting waved through. I don't even know if they're letting people in on this side. I don't know what is going on, but you like can't navigate. It's so weird. Holy cow. You may need to just avoid spring break like at all costs because like this is horrendous. We have finally fought through some of the crowds again to get over here to Tomorrowland. We are going to kind of wrap up our night here, maybe go ride a ride or two. But at this point, you can see how it is during spring break. This is just the first week of many, by the way. Hopefully you guys were able to see a little bit of the madness that is going on here at Disney World. Again, this is gonna be going on for a few more weeks, maybe about a month and a half actually, before it slows down in May or so. Either way, thanks for joining us in quite the crazy day here at Magic Kingdom, but it still was pretty all right either way. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.